right now I am getting ready to do my surf club with the girls. We are gonna go and surf some small pipeline today. So I'm really excited to take them out there and I'm gonna show you guys what we do when we meet up. Here is some of the girls from my surf club. This was during spring break that we filmed this. So a lot of the girls were on vacation. So if you guys didn't make it and you guys are watching this, don't worry, we will film again another time. Okay, that's where we're gonna go. Okay, you guys, you guys can walk through here. Everybody walk through there. Okay, this is the small welcome house. Have you guys been in here before? Yeah, we're a movie. Oh yeah, you guys have all been in here. Okay, let's go through this way. boards are gonna be surfer of the week prizes so two of the girls are gonna win those boards today and they don't know okay so I made them pick teams we're gonna do the relay race for the run some run so there's gonna be a run a swimmer and there's gonna be a runner so everyone pick who's your runner and pick who's your swimmer yeah and if you guys since there's an extra person on this team you one person on this team is gonna have to go two times these relay races that we do, it is strength and conditioning training for the girls. It's giving them a lot of cardio, building their muscles, and that's exactly what they need to feel confident in the ocean. One of my favorite things to do with the girls is a swimming relay race because I really want them to be strong swimmers. Just in case they break their board out in the water, I want them to feel confident that they can make it in even if no one is there to help them get in. Hawaii has such strong rip currents. Um, it's so easy to get stuck in one of those and get swept out to sea. So being a strong swimmer is super essential. Before we go surfing, I always tell the girls, okay guys, if you wanna surf on the outside today, you're gonna have to be able to swim all the way in if you break your leash. And I let them know that before we get out there. Most of them, it's gonna be their first time surfing pipe. So I'm super excited. Today's the perfect day. It's small, it's not big. And I just want to teach them, you know, how to be safe out there. Because maybe one day some of them are gonna to wanna to charge large. Almost every time I go surfing, I always notice some type of wildlife underneath me, but I can't really tell what's going on because I can't see underwater. So I filmed it with my GoPro and I saw these two little fish just cruising right underneath my feet. For me, the coolest thing that I see from my surf club is the camaraderie, the support, the empowerment. The girls are so genuinely stoked to be out there, getting better, um, cheering each other on, and just having a really good time. Something that always gets me is when one of the girls paddles for a wave, all the other girls start cheering that girl on, and they're just screaming her name, you know, applauding her, cheering her on, and when she paddles back out, they're like, that wave was so sick! And I just love that, you know? They're empowering each other, and it's, like I said, very inspiring. They also push each other so much to overcome their fears and, you know, just get better and better every time and go on bigger waves. Okay, so they're going to explain to you guys what Surfer of the Week is. Okay, what's Surfer of the Week? Surfer of the Week is um, some of the best surfers of the day. Um, that like did really good and then they get a prize. Yep, that's exactly what Surfer of the Week is. So, each time we meet and we have our surf club, two people get awarded Surfer of the Week. Who do you guys think is going to get Surfer of the Week this week? Uh, I know Lily Kai. Graham Mahina. 
Why do you guys think that? But Mama said there's more than two people. Got a really yeah, Ray got the first wave of the day. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple people getting Surfer of the Week. Couple? Very exciting. Ooh. Surfer of the Week is Gray! Yay! 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 You are gonna get this Volcom yeah, shirt. Oh, How cute is it? Show, so show me what the shirt looks like. Let's see it. That is adorable. That is so really cute. cute. I'm our second surfer of the week, Lily Kai! Lily Kai, I was just joking. You actually get to have that board. What? That board what? is for you right there. What? Go what? grab it. That's I'm for you. Not I'm not joking. You're joking. No, I'm not. That's your, that's your new board. What? What? Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you what? so much. Oh. Is it gonna be Our last surfer of the week is... Lino! <laughs> That's your board! <laughs> because you guys didn't go on spring break, there's more Surfer of the Weeks. <laughs> the next Surfer of the Week is going to be We're gonna get this little notebook that's from Volcom. A new Volcom wetsuit. Whoa. Okay, so it is Friday afternoon. Tomorrow there is a Grom contest that Volcom is putting on at Makaha. It is the Sign Malowski Grom Fest and I'm gonna take my niece there and meet all my little surfer girls down there and all the girls from the west side. So I'm super excited to go down there. I was actually not going to go because I had a trip planned. Canceled that trip last minute because I really wanted to go to this contest. And it's only once a year. And I went last year and it was super, super fun. So I was like, okay, I cannot miss it. I have to go. This contest means a lot to me because this was actually the first contest that I ever won. I was 11 years old and it was supposed to be at Makaha, but the waves were too big at Makaha. So we had to go to Ma'ili Point to do the um, event and it was bombing. It was huge and it was the first time I ever surfed out there. And it was my first contest with like the big girls and ended up making all the way to the final and ended up winning. So that's why this contest is also special to me. It has a special place in my heart. Come check in for the jerseys. Give those girls a big round of applause, you guys. They serve.
So I'm down here at the Live Like Zion Grom Fest at Makaha Beach. Um, the waves are so firing for the kids. We're about to do a girls only expression session. Um, it's gonna be super fun. I'm gonna film it on the GoPro. Shoot, I just dropped my wax. And show you guys how our session goes. But it's pretty much just like the most funnest day, perfect day ever for the kids. So super excited, super stoked. Can't wait to get out there with the girls. Let's go girls! 10.30 remaining. This is the prizes that we got over here the, for the award ceremony. Hi! Hi, everyone. <laughs> They're waiting for the expression session. Um, those, those are the other girls waiting for the expression session. It's pretty much the funnest day. You guys having fun down here? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What? Are you guys excited for our expression session? Oh, yeah. Yes. We're very excited. Yes. Awesome. Me too. Is that your vlog? Yes. Oh, wait, it's a focus thing. Okay, for the expression session, we are having best wave, biggest wave, best style, and best maneuver. That is our criteria. Susie is the judge. <laughs> we are super excited. Okay, we're going to announce that to all the girls after what the criteria is for this expression session. Okay, so I'm going to go and tell the girls what the criteria is for our expression session. Even though it's just an expression session, it's actually kind of low key a contest in its own. So this is exciting. So I walked on the beach. I told the girls what the criteria was and I handed them all a jersey and they were super fired up and excited to get out there. Some of the boys were asking how come there was not a boys expression session. And I wanted to say that this was super last minute. Um, the boys had a couple divisions that they could enter. The girls really only had one and that was a 15 and under. So I wanted to give them a little bit more opportunity Next year, I'm sure we will have two expression sessions. I don't want anyone feeling left out. I really wanted everyone to feel included. So I'm sure next year we will figure something out so the boys can have their, their moment too. As soon as the horn blew, the girls were just sprinting to get into the lineup to catch some waves. It was amazing to see how excited they all were to be surfing out there. We had 20 minutes. I have not seen anything like that before <laughs> with the lineup filled up with so much girls. So it was, it was awesome. It was so much fun and just seeing the excitement on their faces almost brought me to tears. It really felt like a surf patina, a surf party out here. It was just fun, you know? Watching party wave after party wave go down. This expression session was all time for me. This made my day, made my week, probably my year. Surfing is a Hawaiian tradition and it's for everyone. It's for the keiki, the kids, it's for the wahine, the women, it's for the kane, the men, it's for everyone to enjoy. And that's what this contest really is all about, just enjoying surfing. Whether that's on a longboard, a shortboard, a boogie board. I loved how inclusive it was. I loved seeing the different styles of everybody. I loved watching everybody on their different crafts. To me, I thought it was super fun seeing the different approaches. Um, the short borders versus the long borders versus the boogie borders. They all were ripping, but they're all doing it in different ways and different styles and different approaches. They were making the waves look fun. They were having fun. And it was just overall an amazing event and awesome experience for all the kids. And overall, just seeing how much the kids love the ocean. That was the most special part for me. Okay, Hana. Give them a big round of applause, you guys. Okay, can, there, can everybody see? I'm just gonna let this just stand right there. 